Hello, thank you for joining me. I did my little series of my National Trust passports um, as part of my lockdown videos. Now, going back to the first lockdown, I did a video just in general talking about National Trust passports. Now, at the end, I also talked about YHA passports. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put away my National Trust passports. Um, I've told you all about them in the other videos. And we're going to finish off this little series, um, this will probably hopefully be my last lockdown video, all my other videos hopefully will be out and about. Um, like I said, so I film these videos in the lockdown, by the time you actually watch them, we should hopefully be out of lockdown. These are my youth hostel passports, so I'm going to talk you through some of the youth hostels I've stayed at in my lifetime. So, first one is, well, it's written in there, it's actually YHA Medway in Kent, um, haven't got a stamp there. So, the first one I went to was YHA Portland. So, the youth hostel in Portland, um, just across from Chisel Beach, I remember staying there, I remember going for walks up um, up on the hills above Portland, quite an interesting place, a um, bit different for your, you know, for your holiday. We then went from Portland, we drove basically right across the South England to Truly Hill. Truly Hill was a youth hostel, I say was, I'm not sure if it's still open, it might be. I know some of these we're going to talk about are unfortunately closed. Um, it was. It seemed quite a dated sort of place, so if it is still there, it's probably been done up a lot, but it was up above Shoreham by Sea, about, well, about four miles away from Shoreham by Sea. So I remember staying there, you know, for a few days. Um, good fun. Next one's Cheddar, Ch you know, Cheddar Gorge. So I remember staying there at Cheddar Gorge, um, only for a couple of nights. We we visited Cheddar Gorge while we were there. I think we also visited Wookie Hole. So it was a bit of a do a lot of caves on that holiday, and we no doubt went to a few other places. Our next one now, I know this one isn't there anymore. Um, is Castle Headingham. Of course, Kenningham Castle's still there. It's also where the Colne Valley Railway is, but it's no longer a youth hostel in the village of Castle Headingham in Essex. We stayed there for a couple of nights, visited the Colne Valley Railway in the castle. Then we drove to Bootful Blacksall. Now that's a village in Suffolk. It was an old school youth hostel, not sure if it's still there. Um, during that holiday, I would have said in the National Trust video, we visited places such as Melford Hall, and Lavenham Guildhall, Sutton Hoo. Actually, I think we went to Sutton Hoo. As we left Blacksall, we drove from Sutton Hoo up to Great Yarmouth. So we drove from Blacksall, stopped at Sutton Hoo, visited them, stayed a night in Great Yarmouth. Um, stayed there for one night, and then, and, I, and the building is still there, but I don't think it's the youth hostel anymore. Um, it was the end of terrace of like a Victorian terrace house. And then we went to Norwich and stayed there for one night. I know that youth hostel isn't there anymore, it was demolished. Um, not long after we stayed there actually, it closed and was demolished and they built houses on it. Our next one we went to was Slimbridge. Um, down near the Seven Estuary. That youth hostel was closed, but I think it might still be a hostel, but not a, so it's still a, a hostel to go and stay at, I think, don't quote me on that, but not a YHA one. But I remember at the time, um, in 2002, I was very into m and so I remember I used to call it Slim Shady Bridge. So yeah, sign of the time. And then we drove from Slim Bridge to Stone the Wold. We stayed there, we went on the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway. Um, we also went to Snow Hill Manor, as I talked about in the National Trust Passport video. On then the next one, now I know this one has been replaced, is Eastbourne. I remember going down there on a Southern Region Mark 1 unit, um, the only long distance journey I ever did on one, to Eastbourne. And we went to the Miniature Railway in Eastbourne, we went on a boat ride up to Beachy Head. The youth hostel burnt down not long after we stayed there, but it was rebuilt. So I'm not sure if the rebuilt one is still there, but the building we stayed in is no longer there. The next one is Wilderhope Manor. And now I talked about Wilderhope Manor in National Trust Passports because it was, it, it is, it's a National Trust property, but it's 
the Youth Hospital Association manage it and you can stay there. So that's it's a fascinating place up in the hills in Shropshire. You can actually go and stay at a National Trust place. Next one is Arundel. Arundel is down in, in Sussex. We, we visited Arundel Castle and various other places and Petworth House in the area. I only stayed there for one night. It's not too far, but you know if you want to drive, that's the good thing about Youth Hostel. Say if you just want to drive somewhere that's not miles and miles away, but say 50, 60 miles away, you can stay at Youth Hostel at night and then do something else in the same area and drive back again. Now the next one is one I've frequented quite a few times, York. For fairly obvious reasons, various railway events. So I've been to York a few times. Arnside was the next one. And that was when they did the rerun of the 15 Gibby Special, the last steam train um, in 1968. They reran it in 2008. I didn't go on it, um, went to Riverhead and saw the two Black Fives heading north. Um, and then next started a steam chart around the Cumbering Coast with Leander from Carnforth. It was up to Ravenglass. It was when they were still allowed to turn the trains in um, Sellafield Nuclear Power Station. That was Kingsfish Rail Tours, who sadly don't exist anymore. Next one is Lockton. Um, I've just written it in there. That was on the National Trust Working Holiday. It was an old school in the village. I talked about work, National Trust Working Holidays in the National Trust video. Next one's White J. Burley in the New Forest. Now I went there, it was when Eastley Works had an open day, went to Eastley, went to the Works open day, from there we drove to Burley and we went to Bewley and the Car Museum and, and the Abbey and then on the way back I think we went to um, the Moores Valley Railway and the Eastley Lakeside Railway. I'll have to go and revisit those two minutes railways, but I'm on Minutes Railway Britain series. The next one is Borth. Borth is, if you get a train driver issue, if it's the um, penultimate station. It's a little town by the sea in Wales, quite a nice place. When I was there, did all, all the Welsh railways for the first time I have done, like the Town of Glyn, Vale of Rydal, um, the Corish Railway. From there we drove down to a place, I think it's oh, it's a Welsh one, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, so I'm going to apologise, it's called Lanford the Kellen. And um, well, while we were there, we did the Pontebourne Blenavon Railway, Brecon Mountain Railway. We visited Brecon, we climbed Penifan, the third highest mountain in Wales. My next property is um, Yulegrave. Yulegrave up in Derbyshire, it's an old co op. It's quite, a, it's a, well, I say it's not, it's a tall building for the village, it's about five floors high. So if you look at Yulegrave, if you go for a walk outside Yulegrave, the youth hostel is very distinct. Um, so that's your grave. Also a stamp. What's that? 80 years of youth hosteling. Our next one is Gallant. Down in Cornwall. I know that was a big old sort of Victorian house. Um, stayed there in Cornwall. It was when they were doing steam on the Lou branch with 9466. It's quite rare to do steam on the Lou branch. From there we drove to Street. Which is near Glastonbury, um, and we visited. We didn't visit Glastonbury Abbey. I visited there on a different. I think I visited Glastonbury Abbey actually after Cheddar. Um, we went to Wells and had a look at the cathedral. Um, our next one, Belleva. That is near Postbridge. It's in the middle of Dartmoor. So I stayed at Belleva. You thought was completely in the middle of nowhere. And then we went to Widdecombe in the Moor. Got a National Trust passport stamp. This one's probably somewhere everyone's heard of, Canterbury. We stayed at Canterbury at the Youth Hostel there. I remember we actually stayed in a tent, because some Youth Hostels they have tents as well, which you can stay in, so I stayed in a tent out the back. And the next one's Borf again, uh, so liked it so much, went there again. And then finally Sherwood Forest. Somewhere I really would love to go back to, because there's the Sherwood Forest Railway. And during it, I didn't go there on that visit, but I did go to see Robin Hood's Major Oak, um, which I'd like to do a video at, and um, also went to Nottingham and had a go on the tram. So that's the first one. The second one, <coughs> a bit more modern looking. First one's Manchester. Been to Manchester a lot, I only ever once stayed a night in Manchester. 
remember this first time I've ever done the Metro Link, so I was quite excited to do that. Next one's Iron Bridge. So stayed at Iron Bridge for a night, did Iron Bridge, um, you know, the whole Iron Bridge Gorge, all the attractions, not all of the attractions, but did most of them. York again, there must have been a railway event on. Tramore in Southern Ireland. Um, that was my first trip to Ireland. I remember I, I, I got I had to get a bus from Rosslare to Waterford because they closed the railway. And I had to get another bus because much earlier they'd closed the railway down to Tramore. Next one's Dublin. So I went from there up to Dublin. Next one didn't have a stamp, so I've written it in. It's Belfast. So I did things like Giants Causeway for the first time. And then from there I went right up to Glasgow. The main thing I wanted to go to Glasgow for, but not then, was to see the Red Road Flats. Um, they, they attempted to demolish them. They blew them up and two of them didn't collapse. My next one was Ireland Hall. Now that's also National Trust, I have been there, you can go and visit it on an all day visit as a National Trust property, I have done it and I have made a video there, have a look at link on the screen now, but I stayed there that night and went to Crich Tramway Village the next day, York again, that was when they had all the, when they bought all six A4s together, I remember that one, and then the, the final few, Lempster, which is um, in Herefordshire, Stayed there. It's part of an old priory that youth hostel, and um, trying to think which places I visited, but I, I certainly visited. Um, I went to a National Trust place called the Weir, where they didn't have a passport stamp, so that never appeared in the passport video. But I remember going there and for various other walks, and then Dimmingsdale. Now that is near Alton in Staffordshire, above the Churnit Valley. Um, it's not a youth hostel anymore, so. The sign, the, the, the stamp says, I found you fossil dimming there because it was so difficult to find, but we did find it. Oh, and then we have Belfast again. Got a stamp this time. I went to Belfast. I was actually doing a National Trust work on holiday at Castle Ward. Stayed at Belfast the night before. Went to Downpatrick, did the Downpatrick and County Down Railway, and then went on to Castle Ward. Stayed there for the duration of the holiday. Now I called in at Dublin for a couple of nights on the way back. Same youth fossil in Dublin. This one final youth hostel, um, the last one I stayed at, I haven't been to one since, um, should start doing them again, but I just haven't. Um, Thirlby, Lincolnshire. Um, I remember it rained. I stayed in Lincoln, not in a youth hostel, went there on the way back and it rained, so I just did abbeys that are now churches. So I did Bourne, um, did Deeping St James, and I did Crowland or Croyland, somewhere I really would love to go back to because it's a fascinating bridge. I'll have to, if you want to know what it is, look it up. It's basically a freeway bridge, but I'll have to go there and do a video. So, yeah, that's the story of my Hugh Fossil passports. At some point in the future, I should get out and visit some more and get some more stamps. But, you know, it's a cheap way of having a holiday, so why not try it for yourself? I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment from my kitchen table. Thank you very much. Goodbye.